Welcome back and thanks for sticking with us here on Adelante Chicago. The Chicago-Mexico Filmmaker Exchange is a series of screenings showcasing works from Chicago and Mexico City filmmakers. Here to tell us more about it are Raul Benitez. He's a Latino film programmer for the Chicago International Film Festival and Erica Valenciana. She's a filmmaker and educator from Chicago. So thank you to both of you for coming in. Yeah, thank you, Lourdes, for having us. All right. Uh, both Chicago and Mexico City produce some great quality work, so I imagine this is a wonderful exchange Tell me how it's been working. Yeah, so um, this is a program that was kind of born in 2019, and unfortunately the yeah. pandemic kind of killed the mm -hmm. in-person screenings, and we ended up doing it online. I wanted to revive the program in 2021 to do in-person screenings, uh, so I ended up doing three of them. Uh, all three, there's three separate programs. I did all three of those in Mexico City in March of, 20, of last year, uh, and then I wanted to bring them here to Chicago. Um, and so I ended up funding that, the Mexico side of the program myself. Um, and then last year, I ended up getting a, a Chicago Cultural Grant as an esteemed artist, and that helped me pay back what I paid for the screenings <laughs> okay. in Mexico City, and they're going to help pay for the screens we're having here in Chicago this year. All right, and so here we are. And you've been sort of picking these films. Uh, tell me a little bit about what people might see if they want to take Yeah, one. Um, so we kind of picked these films with the theme of displacement, and so we did a, a lot of searching for films in the Chicago area that kind of fit this theme. Um, so I ended up picking three of them. Two of them are docs. Uh, one of them is Erica's. And mm -hmm. then uh, I had a programmer in Mexico City who picked the Mex Mexico side of things, uh, Viviana Garcia Besna. She helped me pick the Mexican films. So we ended up picking four Mexican filmmakers and three Chicago ones. And, they're all, and all the films are kind of loosely tied to this theme of uh, displacement. Okay. Uh, explain that theme a little bit more. Yeah, Maybe people who are coming into our countries or going to Mexico City, sort of finding new homes. Well, it wasn't just like one film is not like dealing with the Mexican immigration or Holes. just the immigration mm -hmm. between Universes. our border. Uh, I have a film called Sunday, which is about an Iranian woman whose family has immigrated, and so she's kind of mi missing them um, as well. There's a clip there of the film of that film. And so it's just dealing with like general kind of like immigration displacement. But we also have a film about um, the birds, cr you know, crossing borders from Mexico to the United States. So we oh. saw that as kind of a theme of displacement as well, because, you know, they're getting, you know, there's this border and it's kind of like affecting bird migrations coming across and coming, to, coming back. And so that movie's called Birders. Uh, so, so it's kind of loosely deals with, you know, yeah. this, this uh, theme of displacement yeah. of just like, you know, borders and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a topic that's so important these days. So, of course, um, I'm sure the filmmakers are taking it on. Eric, I want to bring you into the conversation. You've got uh, a film. It's called La Mitad del Mundo. Explain to me what it's about and sort of how you were able to put this together. Sure. Um, so uh, it's about the stories of young survivors of sex trafficking in Ecuador. And, um, you know, it's a long time coming. I spent a long time working on the film. I went to Ecuador several times. And um, it's in live, uh, live action and stop motion animation because we can't show their faces in order to protect their identities. Um, but what I did try to do was I tried to put as much of the girls into the film as possible. So I had uh, taught a stop motion animation workshop at the safe house. And then I used their animation, put it in the film, and then hired an animator to create um, more based on that aesthetic of the of the animations that they created. So it's all kind of mixed in there. That's so interesting. So it's a way to tell a very difficult story yes. for so many people um, through a very creative process, right? Uh, I think that's so interesting. Okay, so they can see this movie in Mexico City and here in Chicago, I assume. Um, actually, no, right now it's just showing at film festivals. So mm -hmm. if you want to see it, you got to come on Friday, <laughs> um, the 16th, okay. so at 18th Street Casa de Cultura. So. That's okay. the only way if you want to watch it. <laughs> what is next for you? So I, so this is one project that you've been able to sort of see, yes. full, bring full circle. Yes. What else is coming up for you? Um, so currently I'm filming a short documentary about female brewers. And um, so I'm going to a lot of fun places doing that. And then um, I'm wrapping up a project about um, people who deal with birds that have collided into windows. So... Wow, a little yeah. bit of everything. Yeah, huh, yeah. <laughs> got to mix it up. <laughs> She's got a lot of interest. Okay. Um, so if folks are interested in the film festival coming up this Friday, what should they know? Where should they get tickets? What should they be doing? Yeah, so you can go to our website at uh, cdmxcineexchange.com. Yeah, and we've got it right there Yeah, so on there's the three separate programs. The mm -hmm. first one's June 12th at the Gene Sisko Film Center. 
at 8 p.m. And then we have the second screening, second set of programs on June 14th at Facet Cinema. And then on June 16th, it'll be the community screening, which will be at the Casa de Cultura uh, in Pilsen. Okay. And we're finally starting to see sort of people come back to theaters and some of that fun programming. Yeah, that, absolutely. Uh, we always wanted to be a part of. We, we're seeing it come back post-pandemic. So yeah, that's wonderful yes. news. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Okay. Uh, so it's $5 for tickets, and some of them are even free, right? Yeah, so the community mm -hmm. screening is free, which is the, the one on June 16th, and then the one at the Cisco and Fasses are both $5. All right, sounds good. I wish you both the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.